Hello and welcome. In this video lesson, using the example problem of flow over a finned heat exchanger, we will understand the various operations in the solution tab of ANSYS Fluent, such as specifying the solution methods and controls, creating report definitions and report plots, initializing the problem and running the calculations, and much more. Without further delay, let's get started. Before we start with the simulation, let us try to get some idea about the problem we are going to solve. As mentioned earlier, we will simulate the flow over a finned heat exchanger. Air at standard atmospheric properties and temperature of 290 Kelvin enters the domain at a mass flow rate of 9.1 E-5 kg per second. The tube walls are maintained at a constant temperature of 350 Kelvin. The main goal of the simulation is to compute the temperature of the air flow at the outlet of the finned tube heat exchanger. In the interest of saving computational time, we will be simulating only a section of the model by leveraging the symmetry boundary conditions. Let's now launch ANSYS Fluent. In the launcher panel, you will notice meshing and solution mode. We will select solution. Leave the rest of the settings to default and click start to open fluent. Go to file, read. Select case and pick the case file. Once the case file is loaded, we will follow the normal procedure of working through the ribbon tabs from left to right, starting with the domain tab. We will first perform a mesh check where we will look at the output in the console window and make sure there are no error messages to confirm that the mesh is error free. Here as we can see, it shows done without returning any error messages. Next, we will move to the physics tab and since we are performing a steady state 3D simulation using the pressure based solver, the settings under the general task page can be left to their default settings. Next, we will move ahead to the models group and make sure the energy is activated so that the temperature can be computed. Let's now define the viscous model. Based on the provided mass flow rate of 9.1 E-5 kg per second and the fin pitch value, Reynolds number is determined to be approximately 305 which indicates that the flow is laminar, ensure that the viscous model is set to laminar. Click OK to close the window. Since air is our working fluid and the fin material is aluminium, we do not have to make any modifications in the materials group and cell zone tab as air and aluminium are the default materials in ANSYS fluent for fluid and solid zones respectively. Let us now move ahead and click Boundaries. Air enters the domain through the inlet with a mass flow rate of 9.1 E-5 kg per second and hence let's set the boundary condition at the inlet with a mass flow inlet type. Click Edit to open the mass flow inlet boundary condition panel and enter the mass flow rate value as 9.1 E-5 kg per second. Also. Make sure the temperature is 290 Kelvin under the thermal tab. Click apply and close the panel. At the outlet, we will keep the default pressure outlet boundary condition. Let's click edit to open the pressure outlet boundary condition panel and check that the gauge pressure is set to 0 Pascal and then close this window. Make sure the boundary conditions at the top, bottom and the side walls are set to symmetry. Next, go to the Outline View task page and under Wall Boundary Conditions, select Fin 1, Fin 2, Fin 3 and Fin 4 and right click to select Multi-Edit. Make sure the thermal condition is set to Coupled so that the thermal energy exchange at this boundary is handled by ANSYS Fluent automatically. Similarly, select all the Wall Fin shadows and ensure their thermal condition is set to coupled. 
click apply and then click on close to close the window. Now select tube 1 fluid and press ctrl and select all the other fluid and solid tubes. Right click to select multi edit to open multi edit wall settings panel. Ensure the shear condition is set to no slip and then click on thermal tab. Select the temperature thermal conditions and since the walls are maintained at a constant temperature of 350 Kelvin, enter the value of temperature as 350 Kelvin. Click apply to register the changes and close the panel. Now that all the boundary conditions have been assigned, we can now move to the solution tab. Let us now go to the methods group to select the numerical scheme that ANSYS Fluent uses to solve the governing equations. Click methods on the ribbon to open the solution methods task page. Let us keep the default pressure velocity coupling as coupled, but change the pressure spatial discretization to presto to give more accurate results since this problem involves swirls around the tubes. Leave the spatial discretization settings for the rest of the equations as the default which is second order and move on to the solution controls under the controls group. Clicking the controls option opens the solution controls task page wherein we can see the values of the under relaxation factors required to stabilize the solution calculation. Let's use the default values for now and move ahead to create report definitions under the reports group to monitor the solution conversions and also to quantitatively analyze the solution result. Click definition and select new surface report for the mass weighted average. We will give a descriptive name and change the variable to static temperature. Select outlet and make sure the report file and report plot are selected. Click OK to close the panel. I am also interested in monitoring the difference between the inlet and outlet temperature. For this, I will use a feature called expression under report definitions. Let's first create report definitions for maximum temperature both at inlet and outlet. Go to Definitions, New, Surface Report, Vertex Maximum. Change the variable to static temperature after selecting inlet from the surfaces list. Similarly, we will create one for outlet temperature. Now we will go to Definitions, New, click on Expression to open Expression Report Definition panel. Click on report definitions on the right side of the window and since we need to find the temperature difference, let's select report definitions for outlet and inlet from the drop down. Once the expression as per our requirement is entered, click OK to close the window. Next, we will go to the initialization group and as we can see, the initialization method used in ANSYS Fluent by default is hybrid initialization. This method is recommended for most of the cases and hence let us keep it as it is and go ahead to initialize the solution. Let us now save the initial case and data. Go to file, write, case and data and save the file. In the run calculation group, set the number of iterations to 400 and click on calculate to initiate the solution calculation. The solver will iterate until all the equation residuals meet the convergence criteria. Once the solution is converged, let us now go to the results tab. We will go to reports, fluxes and can check for mass and energy balances to further double check the convergence of the solution. In the flux reports panel, for mass flow rate, select inlet and outlet and then click Compute. From the net results here, we can see that there is a good mass balance as the imbalance shown is of many orders of magnitude lower. Now select total heat transfer rate to check for the energy balance. Let's select inlet, outlet and all the fluid and solid tube walls and then click compute. 
as we can see the heat transfer rate reported in the net results field is of many orders of magnitude lower than the values in the results field combined which indicates a good energy balance both these checks provide additional confidence in the convergence of our simulation click close to close the flux reports panel now for graphics let us go to results tab and create contours for temperature go to contours new change the variable to static temperature select all the surfaces from the surfaces list and click save slash display after giving it a descriptive name we can see that the temperature at the outlet is approximately 332 kelvin the exact value of the temperature at the outlet can be found by opening the temperature report definition in the outline view and then clicking on compute we can see that the outlet temperature is displayed in the console window and is found to be 332.84 kelvin also the difference in temperature can be seen in the console window after clicking compute on the expression report difference we made for calculating the temperature difference which comes out to 50 kelvin therefore from the temperature contour plot it can be understood that the air flow carries heat from the tube walls and fins via convection also the rate of heat extracted from the tube in the front rows is more as compared to those at the back this is because the tubes at the front row experience cold air stream while the back rows experience air already heated by the front rows let us now save the final case and data go to file write case and data and save the file So that concludes the workflow demo for the finned tube heat exchanger tutorial. In this demo, we understood how to set up and simulate a problem involving air flow over a finned tube heat exchanger with special focus on the settings and options in the solution tab of Ansys Fluent. We learned about the different methods that can be employed for solving the equations, where to change the under relaxation factors if and when required how to create report definitions to monitor convergence of the problem how to initialize run and perform a preliminary analysis to ensure solution convergence with this we come to the end of our video